Hey guys, um, we're not going to start out with no music today, so we're just going to just hop on in. We're going to discuss a little about uh, what we uh, with Ku yesterday with with Dundee here, and then um, a little about our sponsors, and then uh, and then a little about what she does um, with her real estate investment. So uh, those of you guys are that are here, give us a hello. Uh, hey Dundee, hey Dundee, where where are you located? Minnesota, right? Yes, I am in Minnesota. Okay, cool. So, guys in Minnesota, I mean, we have a lot of guests that we uh, <laughs> are from Minnesota because I guess that's where a lot of hustlers are over there. <laughs> so, good. yeah, you guys, <laughs> yeah, that's good. So, uh, so Bow says hi. So let let's uh, let's start sharing this out. Let me share this out to like you know my fans out here. And you said it was thundering up there, right? Dundee? Yes, it's thunderstorming. Yeah, we had the sirens going on. Um, I think it was hailing, but it's calming down now. So, um, oh, wow. Thankfully, think, tornado. <laughs> yeah, I think the other day I saw like everybody was posting like um, hail up there. Is that, was that, yeah. that sound yeah. right? Wow. Yeah, I think they were, they were pretty big. Luckily, oh, not okay, where cool. I was at, but. Yeah, they were like quarter size um, hail um, yeah. or so up there. I'm like, wow. I mean, we don't get, I, we hardly get that in Florida. So everybody's afraid of like hurricanes and stuff like that down here. We're like, ah, you know, <laughs> you guys, we hardly get I me mean, the past three years or so. We hardly got, you know, um, hurricane and stuff like that. Let me tag you on here. Done. I actually don't mind the hail. I'm hoping the hail will actually hit my Minneapolis home so I can get a new roof because I need a, a new <laughs> roof right now. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, it doesn't matter. That's like <laughs> that's like the act of nature, right? You, you just you know, I guess it doesn't matter yeah. if you say it or not. But like, uh, we always joke around, like, yeah, there's a fire for your like investment. Like, oh uh, yeah, we'll take we'll be, we'll take our time to get there. <laughs> 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 so we get a new house, you know but yeah i mean you're right you know we do need new roofs but you know it does affect you a little bit uh if you because if you start having like uh more properties and when mm -hmm. you get more properties i think you become more of a liability so when if you do a lot of claims on like um like that kind of stuff like roof and stuff like that it if they shows up then they, they don't want to like they don't want to um i guess insure you insure you. you know yeah. that kind of stuff so like um so you might want to be careful on that because like one time we had like a like a hurricane in florida and um i mean it it hit like half of my houses and um and i just didn't want to do a lot of claims because just because of that issue you know so uh mm -hmm. so i probably only i did like on three so just so they know that okay you know it wasn't a big loss for them so so i can get some some of the insurance to claim uh, down the road um, okay yeah, so those of you guys who join, uh, hey, you know, let us know where we're at. We'll give you guys a, a huge shout out um, on the show. Uh, Bow says hi, Stephen. Hey, Stephen, what's going on, Stephen? See, wasn't it your birthday recently or something like that? Or oh, it was a congratulations from like your wife or something like that. So uh, congrats to you uh, with your your customer. And uh, Jay says hi. What's up, Jay? Jay's got like rustlers on his profile. <laughs> so yeah so uh uh this show uh this show is sponsored by it, uh we got sponsors now on the show um let me introduce them uh they're sponsoring the show and they're sponsoring for um our mo millionaires conference if you guys uh don't know anything about it just go to mo hustlers uh actually i'll post it in this uh description as well uh we have a conference uh coming up in august 25th 26th and um uh, Dundee, you're coming, right? You're coming to this conference, right? I am. Yes, I am. Yeah. So, yeah, we got conference, and they're sponsoring the uh, conference. Uh, first one is uh, Linda. Josh, she's, uh, she's with Gold Mortgage, you know? So she, uh, she's, she's been in the industry for, like, 25 years in the mortgage industry. And you met, and you met Linda at the, the Minnesota um, conference that we did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she was Very awesome. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she uh, so she's yeah, she's decided to jump on and say, hey, she's want to help you know 
everybody. So I, I haven't even told everybody that you know she's she's gonna. I'm gonna. I invite her to come to come on and just like help everybody through like if they have equity and stuff like or, or help them out with loans, you know, or, or design a like a package for everybody uh, to to walk through like if you if you need it like. A pre-approval, we'll get you that, and then we can see, we can guide you through. Like, if you, if you're ready, we with this conference, we can pretty much walk you through on how to find a deal and pretty much get you through, you know, a you know investment process. You know, walk you through the whole process along the way. So, she's uh, she's willing to jump on board and help us out on that. You know, because I know at the conference we only what we only did was we only like um, we only kind of talked about it, right? So at this mm -hmm. conference, we're gonna we're gonna have uh, her walk you through it. So if you guys are really you know ready to invest, uh, she's uh, she's gonna be able to walk you, us through how to invest in uh, in a real estate deal. Um, and with agents, I got agents uh, sponsoring this, this this conference and this live uh, this live feed here. Uh, we got um, we got uh, MK. We I call it MK out of uh, Florida here. If you guys are looking to invest in Florida, MK. Uh, Great person. I worked with her. Like, uh, you know, Mo, we got a home community down here. Like, and she's down here. I, I worked with her for like uh, a year doing the home community stuff, nonprofit. And you know, she's she's bringing the breakfast for us. You know, isn't that cool? Like, we're getting breakfast, so she's giving us breakfast. So, if you guys are looking for any uh, Florida agents, uh, she's the one to go to. And out of Milwaukee, I got my uh, my best friend. Um, uh, Yuli, Yuli, her out of uh, Milwaukee. Uh, I done deals. I done deals with my eight unit. Um, I done deals with you know his company uh, up in Milwaukee, and then Yuli sold my uh, my duplex up there. So um, you guys are looking to invest uh, or an agent out of in Milwaukee? Uh, I'll put my sponsors uh, on the list, and you know if you guys got questions, just just message me about them and or we'll reach out to them. Uh, but with that. Uh, Dundee, I mean, you you saw the show yesterday, right? With uh, Ku, right? I did. Such uh, a so hard to come after him, you know. He's such a big boss man, and here I am. <laughs> I know he was like, you know, I I just I watched him, and he's just sitting there, just like throwing out just so much knowledge at me. I'm like, holy cow! Like, yes. I don't even know what to, you know, how to respond to it, you know. But there's so much. It was so much data, and then the way he just sat, like, just giving us information like oh like holy cow this is he's just so relaxed about it because it, it's I, I think yeah. it's so like it's just natural to him but for me i have to think about that certain process to explain to somebody else he's just like you know talking back and forth about it so um any biggest takeaway that you got out of that i you know he had so many good you know golden nuggets coming out i just you know, I and I only caught I think maybe the last 30 minutes and I was just so um also into what everything he was saying. You know, I think one of the biggest thing um or something that kind of helped me um with some reassurance was him kind of stating, you know, the interest rates, you know, how spoiled we've been the past, you know, few years. Um yeah. that the natural, you know, interest rate that's always what, seven to eight percent or so. Um, you know, it kind of makes me feel a bit better now, just kind of investing um still. Yeah. Um, because I, I do think that we're going to go back to that natural flow and it's, you know, or it's going to not neutralize itself eventually. Um, so yeah. that's one yeah. of them. You know, so I mean, I know you have like several investments now, but, you know, interest rate, it matters, but it doesn't quite matter because you can write it off um, as an investor now. So, yes, mm -hmm. it matters. But did you get did you understand the point when I said if it matters? um what was it? Oh man, I forgot what I was gonna say on it. But uh, um, man, we'll come back to it. But um, do yes. you remember the point? Cash. Oh, the uh, yeah, we can talk about the cash flow too. Did you did you recall when he was? I asked him about the cash flow stuff, like that, if that mattered. Did you understand what that concept was? In a way, it was new to me. Actually, I, you know, he was saying that he just gives the cash flow to his investors. Um, and I'm thinking, aren't you an investor? Like I, I, I didn't understand that concept of yeah, so, who are your investors? <laughs> yeah. So when you when when we start walking you through the conference, uh, we're gonna show you like what a good deal looks like. Like ca like we usually look at cash flow, right? As part of like mm -hmm. uh, just money coming in to uh, to support right. your deal. 
but when uh when he started talking about it like he doesn't care about the cash flow like um that changes my mindset i'm like oh my gosh he's doing something different right so um right. so basically what he's doing is like he's he's more concerned with like building an empire right so he's more concerned with just trying to obtain assets right because he's saying like uh, the biggest thing was um was appreciation right yeah. depreciation and then uh what was the other one appreciation depreciation the and the, the, the debt payoff yeah the debt payoff yeah yeah so uh so hey size size here uh because he's investing long term yeah so size says yeah because because he's investing in long term right and you know us real estate investors you know we are investing long term you know like uh right. Like I know there's like real estate people who flip and stuff like that. I mean, they're not truly real estate investors because they're just there just to flip stuff. But you know, like like Koo, he's a real estate investor, so he he's in it for the long term. Like I'm in like my properties, I'm in it for the long term. So when he was talking that kind of stuff, I was like, holy cow, that's totally game changer. Because when he's talking about like the cash flow, like, he doesn't care for that. He gives it back because because that's an incentive. For people to want to invest with him so when he buys these large deals like they're his investors are giving him money right so mm -hmm. those so they could purchase these large deals but he's in it for the long right so he's so that's their incentives to come and help you know him purchase okay. you know these big deals and then what he's doing is you know giving these cash back these uh these cash flow back and then in the long term he's keeping these deals and and one way down the road, I mean, he probably didn't mention this, but he's going to refinance it down the road. So then he's going to pay back all his his um, his investors, right? He's going to pay the, them all. Then he keeps that particular deal, and that becomes his, you know, down the road, right? So it's kind of like you're baiting them to come invest with you, um, or it doesn't matter. You keep the whole deal; they're all in there, and you have this big portfolio at the end of the day. And you know you you building you built this big empire of all these assets, you know, because that's what I guess when when uh, I think what he's going to talk about is at the seminar is the conference is that then you can say, hey, I have this big portfolio of all these properties, and uh, I need you know I don't know I need like thirty million dollars out of it or something like that, and then you can you can get that from this particular type of portfolio that you built already. So, mm -hmm. uh, that was like game changer. Cause I, you know, we, we, we small folks, <laughs> 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 like, we're like, I, I don't know. I just trying to get some cash flow. But you know, at this point, you know, um, he's thinking long-term and this is kind of like the wealth building part that he was talking about. Um, yeah. if you guys didn't understand it, uh, I, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll ask him again at, at the seminar or the conference about it. Um, so, uh, guys, just, just come say hi. Um, we got uh hugh says what's up what let us know where you guys are at um steven says that okay steven did watch this okay stay steven oh uh, yeah debt That's reduction right. yeah uh yeah lloyd's uh his first time is coming back and um my says it's just my oh i guess there's mice having connections too over there um yeah the store <laughs> is high so yeah, so let's get started. You know, uh, Dundee here is uh, is a new investor. Uh, uh, well, I wouldn't say she's a new investor. Like, uh, how how long have you been investing? Um, I don't know. I guess if we start with my first house. Um, that was way back in 2012. So maybe 10 years now. Oh wow! Um, okay, cool. Very awesome. So now, slow. how many properties have you got now? <laughs> I only have two. Well, um, I had another home, but that I sold. So this is the third house that I purchased. I actually just closed on it a week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. um, and this is my multi-unit. Well, I, it's a, a duplex. I don't know if that's con considered multi-unit, but it's a duplex. Um, I, I guess well, multi-unit, we, we usually go, when we start talking about that, it's usually like four or above. But it is a duplex, okay. you know, duplex. which is, you know, still an investment. So, yeah, let's start. So uh, I have to do this properly you know so so i can yeah. edit that in youtube so guys welcome to mo hustler 74 you know uh dundee here uh it's going to talk about what making big money moves like what did you mean by that <laughs> do you remember when you posted that 
Yeah. Uh, but for me, you know, I'm not a millionaire, um, but I think big money moves to me is um, just making a big investment into anything, right? Not really knowing what the market is right now um, and kind of taking that leap of faith, making sure you're kind of, um, you know, covered in many ways. Um, I, let's see, That's still good. Is. I mean, when, when, even like big money moves, like like real estate deals, that is like a big money move, right? And then one of the biggest purchases for people is like a house is like the biggest money move or the biggest purchase out of anything for, for people. And I think what's next is like a car and then a third is like a computer, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I related to when you're talking about like big money moves. So yeah, congrats, congrats to you for even going this far. Like, like guys, I tell people like, um what is it um like most like landlords are like they only have like one property and um uh, i mean you got i mean you you say you were on your third one but now you have two but because you sold one but i mean to get mm -hmm. over that hump it's like it's like the hardest thing and like what is it like uh i forgot the percentage i think it's like 90 percent of landlords are, are just one property owner you know so mm -hmm. Uh, kudos to you for you know even hustling this out you know and um yeah so uh guys let me know where you guys are from uh vix vix is high uh daddy army says what's up All right but um yeah so like uh let's just get started like do you have like a primary job at all or like you're just doing I this do. no um so i uh do treasury accounting so i'm a treasury accounting manager uh -huh. um at a uh, medical marijuana company so oh <laughs> that's very cool <laughs> you know when Koo, when Koo talks about like that county degree did you did you catch that i did it made me so proud of myself actually <laughs> i'm like yes you know, I'm, like on my way there <laughs> yeah you know, I, I almost went for an accounting degree too in college so like uh you know i talked to a few a few other people and they say oh i got a county degree also you know so they're like so maybe you, you guys can relate more but, um, yeah. you know, this might work out for you because you understand numbers. And I guess cool. And that's what he studied for, which is accounting. So yeah. um, very cool. So like, you know, does that, I mean, how, how long have you been doing in accounting? Um, I want to say about 18 years. So I've been doing accounting. For yeah, yeah, I started really young, um, but I love it. I, and I, you know, just kind of doing my own business here, but, you know, my investing and everything else um and creating my own cash flow i mean it's just it's so much fun to create and watch yeah. um you know and kind of plan ahead of what i want to do next so it definitely comes into play and you know as a numbers girl it's it's exciting and fun for me <laughs> does it make easy is it easier for you when you look at these numbers like when you look at deals it's like I, it's yeah. hard for me because when i look at it i have to like write it down when you look at deals do you automatically like recognize like that's a good um, deal or how does it no i think because i don't know exactly all the things that are going into it you know i create my spreadsheets and whatnot um but some things i may be missing um but you know i think when you when i had come to or when i came to your conference um when you came here in minnesota i think it was about a month and a half ago or so yeah uh -huh. you mentioned bigger pockets you know and i you know hopped on that and everything kind of came to play so oh it all makes sense now right like it all makes you know sense, what yeah yeah y'all know what to look for like what uh what expense and stuff like that yes. and what yeah. all the numbers yeah that's i mean that's the biggest thing is is you know if if you get that then uh i still need to do it you know like on paper or like for instance that's on the computer but like i don't know after have you have you been playing much more with it or yeah i have well i, I prefer to do it by hand just because i or, you know, not by hand, but, you know, through my Excel documents, just, I don't know, it's because it's fun for me and I can play with yeah. fingers. So cool. Yeah. So, I mean, how did you get started investing? Like, how did that, how did real estate come into mind? And, um, you know, I always liked looking at houses, you know, um, and I also come from a big background of family members who are brokers and real estate, um, people. And so, uh, and, you know, my best friend and them, they also, you know, own their own brokerage, too. So I'm kind of surrounded by a whole bunch of realtors. Um, but I don't know. I just kind of decided, you know, this is it started out as my single family home that I purchased for myself. 
Um, you know, and to me, it just made sense to not sell it and to rent it out once I moved because I wanted that passive income. So I just thought oh, it was, cool. it just made sense. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, did you have like, um, any influence? Like, I mean, for me, I started with like, like, you know, with the book or like an audio, did you, I mean, or did you just, you would just, just around the, the right people. And that's how you got started. Was it was just, just just like that? Yeah, I think so. I think it was just around, you know, around the right people. And I think for me, it's just, I don't know. I just, I just felt like it was, it was the smartest thing to do. Um, yeah. To me, it was that's just, awesome. That's Cause that's kind of <laughs> reason I see that is like, cause you, you're a perfect example of like being around the right people, right? Like if you're on the right mm -hmm. type of group, you know, you excel with what, what that group does right so that's a perfect example like like what um you hang around the right people you you know you 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 become like them so that's a perfect example so like um man i just kind of want to segment that into like come to the millionaires conference <laughs> because because <laughs> you will hang around real estate guys and stock guys so you guys you know that's my little pitch you know come to the millionaire uh the millionaires conference you know so um very cool so you just i mean Man, you're just around people and they're just and that's how you got started. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Um okay, so uh so how did you I mean, how did you get your first deal? Um uh, well, when I first bought my first house, you know, it was really so I guess my kind of strategy is I I like the first time home buyers loans, right? It's low down payment. Um and so I think when I first started, I just bought my house just to live in and you know, as a first time home buyer, I think at that time that was right after the crash. And so yeah. I bought my house it was bank owned. Um, you know, not it, it's not like the market is today where everybody's fighting for anything. Yeah. So I kind of got lucky. I just went in and didn't have a big down payment or for anything at all. That's awesome. So you did a bank owned property like, wow, yeah, that's uh, uh, that's yeah, that's when you get the great deals the bank loan yeah. i mean was there i mean did you go all in on cash on that or like how did you no i, I did the first time home buyer loan oh, okay gotcha so wow so i mean how did you how did you find it was it like mls or something like that or like um you know i i look at houses every day i always have i i like looking at houses um <laughs> you know i've always had that big old dream of, you know, having my big dream home and whatnot. So I naturally, I just like looking at houses and I wanted a house and I just said, Hey, you know what? This looks good, you know, and just jumped and did it. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. Dude, you're like all natural. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you have like, I'm just curious, like, do you have like a list that you look at like, like sort of notifications where you, that it just pops up and say, okay, I'm, I am only focusing on this area and no. No. no okay so how do you look at deals like from from here on like do you, are you just when you're um, ready now or no i i'm kind of obsessed with looking at houses so i would kind of look around my area right now so you know typically right now i i use trulia which is you know it's an app yeah um and so yeah i do typically look around my area or the surrounding areas that i want to be in places that i'm i'm pretty aware of um you know, right now I'm kind of trying to find an Airbnb property. And yeah. so I'm looking up north, you know, where all the lakes are, uh, where I know where things are busy, where I can get something year, year round. So I have an idea of, you know, places and what kind of um, tourist, touristy places are there and what it drives and what it brings. Um, so that's kind of how I look at places and such. And you just you just search, you know, that kind of stuff, right? I just search. It's, it's entertaining for me. <laughs> I have no life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have no life, you know. <laughs> I'm like that too. But I have like notifications like like with Yuli out of uh Minnesota uh we have uh out of uh Milwaukee, right? Like I have him like hit certain zip codes for me. So I hey hey I'm like hey Yuli any new uh any new properties that come out within this price range 
sent it to me right so he's mm -hmm. he's got this all automated and every day I, you know so for him it's uh i look at like multifamily with yuli up there mm -hmm. So he sends me like a list of all these multifamily that are that coming on the on the market that day. And yeah, that's how I look at it. And um it, that makes it easier. I don't know if, if you want to try that routine. So it's always in your yeah. face, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I think every house I bought, I found and I just contact my real estate agent. Like okay. the ones that they send me with the cheap, I don't I feel like I'm more on top of it than they are just because, you know, yeah. not, not talking about my realtor agents, you know, because they're all great and they're all family. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, I'm usually because I look at it so much, you know, and I'm sure they have other people they are working on with, too. But I'm usually every single house that I've purchased, they're all the ones that I found myself. And then I just called and said, let's go look at this house. This is the house I want. Oh, OK, cool. Okay, so Shen Shen goes. What apps or sites do you use to make comparisons, like Zillow and stuff? Do you do you use like Zillow and stuff to compare like prices? Um, I use Trulia. Um, I did okay. use Zillow too. So, uh, but mostly I'm on Trulia. Okay, cool. Yeah, I I use Zillow. I mean, it's just because I grew up with Zillow, but like like mm -hmm. you know, she's truly perfectly. It's almost the same thing. So, um, uh, very cool. Yeah. So, man, you've been. I mean, you've been doing this for a while, just kind of like from here, from what I'm hearing, just just uh, what you're yeah. feeding us here. So, guys, you guys have any questions? I mean, um, Dundee here, you know, she's a she's an investor. She's she's already been through three properties here uh, in the past ten years, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we went from yesterday, which is like somebody who's who's really really like an expert in real estate development, you know, managing like big multifamily to like. Just keep it, you know, just keep it simple because, you know, we, we need to bring it back to reality <laughs> because yeah. we're, you know, we're kind of all kind of starting off. Right. So I wanted to bring it back to reality, you know, from somebody who's, you know, starting out fresh and, you know, Dundee here is, you know, is, is our, you know, our guest today. She's going to just kind of like um, show how she's done. She's doing it, you know, at this particular level. So, um yeah so uh i mean are you managing these properties yourself too like i am um, yes as much as i can yes is it is it like um wow so you're finding the tenants and you're kind of fixing I me mean, I, I think you fixed yourself i saw you the other day you were painting and stuff like that was that was yes that, and was that rough yep <laughs> yeah paint it, it's it's on it's still ongoing um you know i've i'm I've kind of learned to uh, manage my time a bit and hire contractors and do what I can versus trying to learn everything because it's not my area of expertise trying to fix things. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. One thing I hate is uh, painting. I mean, it's it's so like um, it's that you think you think you can do it right, but it's so time consuming. <laughs> But so when I saw you start doing that, I'm like, oh, let's just see if she's able to like finish. <laughs> I mean, how far did you get? How far did you get? Right. How, how um, big is this that you're painting? Um, I think it's about it's probably about a thousand square feet. Okay. But I'm painting every room. Okay. And every trim. Oh my gosh. So you're doing every room and every trim. And um what was your expectation? How long do you think it was gonna take you? <laughs> Two days. <laughs> Two days. <laughs> We're at you know, a week and a half ago. A week and a half ago. I know exactly. That's what my that's that's the logic we go through, right? Because I'm <laughs> I was there too. I was like, oh man, this this is easy, you know. You just slap a couple I even saw that you got the big rollers too, you know. I did. So yeah. it would be like quicker. You know, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see how she finished this, you know, and yeah. um, uh, I've been there because I have all these properties, you know, because I'm like, I mean, I'm projecting I can finish this like in one day and then like, you know, months later, like I haven't even finished it, you know. So, yeah. yeah. So that type of stuff, like I'm moving away from it, just kind of giving you a tip. Yeah, I'm moving away from it. I'm just I'm just hiring people to paint it at this point, yeah. you know. So uh, that was kind of cool, you know. I was kind of following your footsteps to see how you're gonna do it from like um, from an experienced <laughs> landlord to see like to see how far you would take it. So that's pretty cool. But at least you know what you can handle, right? Yes. Was this your yes. first time painting as well? 
No, I painted my uh, first home too. Okay. I, so okay, you, so you get the gist of it. So are you gonna here. finish it or? I um I just have a cabinets and trims left. So. Awesome. Like get get friends and relatives come help you make it faster. <laughs> I know. I think I'm gonna have to do like a big old pizza party or something. I'll yeah. <laughs> and once you, uh, once you like, once you start calling them, and then you're gonna start realize you're gonna start losing friends and family along yeah. the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> like I was telling her earlier, like my my brothers don't call pick up my phone calls no more because they know if I whenever I call them, I need something for them like to come and you know like help me do something you know so they don't even pick my phone calls anymore. Um, but uh, we still love each other. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's see here. Um, uh, let's see. If there's a few questions here. Uh, guys, post your questions and we'll have our answer. But um, let's go back to like, uh, as far as like, like real estate investing, like what do you, I mean, I, I think you're a long-term investor, right? You're, you you want to just keep building your portfolio more and more. I do. Yeah. Um, yeah. I am a long-term investor and I plan to, well, my next property, again, you know, I was kind of saying earlier that I want to get into the Airbnb game. Okay. Um, and that's, you know, strictly just for cash flow so that I can invest into more properties. You know, I, that's kind of my main focus right now. That's so smart. That. Yeah. How did you think about that? Because uh, how did you realize that? I don't know. <laughs> I just, that's awesome. I want okay, so you, to know so my you are, <laughs> so you are on the right track uh because yeah. you know from, i've been there right so it's a slow game if you do that just a residential long term like um mm -hmm. you know it's one year you know and they pay you like you know 1500 a month and just you know because you get slow money that way but if you do airbnb the money starts coming faster and then that's the best part about airbnb is like it, it comes fast and and there are times where you can increase the the rates so there's scalability in that so you can scale right. so you can get more money coming in you know like like for instance like holidays and stuff like that you can increase it like crazy and people still book it and you yeah. get more money coming in and and it's it's almost like for i mean just just for, just to tell you guys you guys don't know like airbnb is almost like four times the amount of money you get from a regular rental so yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of moving parts to it. So if you can manage that part, then yeah, you know, you make more money that way. So uh, kudos to you for for realizing that because I didn't realize that until like I start like in, into my my Airbnb and stuff. And I'm like, holy cow, that's a lot of money. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. I think I travel enough to kind of know, you know, like I think when I travel and I book Airbnb, and it's just like. There's no way. Like, I just paid their month's mortgage in one weekend. <laughs> so I that's, think that's kind of where it comes from. That is true. Like, uh, like one weekend, actually for me, is like, uh, like I think four days. I can I can have it my yeah. mortgage paid off in four days. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, kudos to you for uh, realizing that. Um, Khan says, what do you consider good rental income per unit? Is Do you do you look at that at all? Um, I do. You know, I always want to be positive cash flow if possible. Um, uh, well, actually, I don't go into anything unless I do have positive cash flow. Um, and so like, I think is there, right now, is there a number at least, uh, you know, minimum starting maybe three to four hundred. Okay, for, that's uh, pretty good. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty good. Um, She's right. That's right on the, the 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 amount what people expect too for like just everybody that's an investor. So very cool. You know your stuff there. Um, let's see here. Uh, as far as like I mean, the hardest thing you do, like what's the hardest thing that you've done so far over this ten year? Um, <laughs> I think everything's a little hard, um, you know. But I think unless you until you do it, it gets easier. Um, I think maybe the hardest thing is probably just because Kuchipo Kachina, I don't know how to fix house houses or yeah. I don't know like the estimate of things. And, you know, I'm I'm just a woman. So when I go to like contractors or like handymans or whatnot, you know, and I ask asking them how to fix something, you know, I don't really know if, you know, what the cost of it is, you know, or when I'm looking at, you know, homes or potential investment homes, I don't know what's actually 
needs to be fixed and how much it's going to cost. Yeah. You know, and nowadays, to even get anything inspected by sellers, you know, they don't care for that. Like, <laughs> you just go in without inspection nowadays. And, you know, it's kind of scary as a person who doesn't know anything about fixing oh. anything. Well, when you do enough, you you get to you you get that experience. So it's it's only it's yeah. only over time that that's when you get it. And with you know, like you know, with prices that you're talking about, you know, um, you just have them come out and do a quote, right? So once you get yeah. two or three people that come in, you get to see like, oh, it's in this particular range to this particular range, and then you find one that fits you. You know, ultimately, you ultimately find the person that bets not you know that you think that's going to do a better job because ultimately you want something done right uh, at the end of the day right so right. yeah yeah cool cool uh shan goes back goes any suggestions on what to on how or what to look for a good property management company i mean you don't i mean like you manage this yourself right like i do what imagine myself what's the hardest part like is it the tenants that's that's hard or like i mean you talk about the fixing part is it yeah i've been very fortunate i think for me is because i kind of jump around um you know city to city it's kind of understanding what each city their guidelines are for renters um so i think for me it's trying to just just making sure that i have everything all my ducks aligned right um that i'm up to code with everything um and that so i think to find a good okay. property man management i don't know like I would think they'd have all that information already. Yeah, yeah, they should. Uh, you're right. It's just you know, I mean, with Florida, we don't have that much code like regulations, but I know Minnesota does. So, so I see what you're. I see what you're. I see yeah. what you're saying is like there's certain like uh, restrictions or like you know, like code enforcement looks at certain things that needs to be you know done for them to give that check so that it looks good. So, yeah, you're right. Um, I think that had that on the website somewhere. You know, most of the time they have it on their website. Um, that 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 requires. I don't know. I don't live in Minnesota, so <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all very. You know, I think yeah. my properties. You know, one's in Minneapolis, one's in Brooklyn Park, and they're not that far from each other, but they have totally different codes and yeah, uh, you know, regulations. So the best thing you do is just 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 network with um, um, you know, folks that. You know, I mean, you should be networking with real estate folks, anyways, in in yeah. in your area. So then you just ask questions, and they, you know, most of the time they know it too. So, um, yeah, that's my tip. Uh, I don't have anything else, but um, yeah, uh, there was one that was really cool here. Um, what was that GK? <laughs> I mean, I was thinking of reading Mong names. <laughs> uh, I guess this is more like a like a question, like personal for them. How do you, how do you start from very little? Did you start from very little savings? Um, I think I I did. I mean, you know, for my first home, you know, I think you, for my first home, we we had they had lots of programs. Um, I think there actually are a lot of programs out there. So typically, they also have like down payment assistance too. So if you do the home first time home buyer, they some places they'll have down payment assistance, and it really varies from loan officers to loan officers or, you know, um, different mortgage companies. So some of them, they can help you with that when you have very little savings and whatnot. Um, yeah. That's always kind of the best thing. And I think that's how I kind of started was the first time home buyer and then down payment assistance so that I didn't have to have a lot of money down, um, you know, and over time the house appreciates and you have more cash. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what Koo said. Yeah, that was part of his game yeah. was... Like he's, did you, did you catch that? He was talking about like cash. Don't he, well, he didn't talk about he. So when we were talking about the cash flow part, he said he didn't care about it. Right? One of the things he didn't care about it. Cause you know, that's very little compared to like the appreciation part. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, did you see your, your properties like gain so much value? Like oh yeah, over the last yeah. two, three years, my second home, um, my second home we bought, I think maybe three years ago. Kept it for two years, you know, it's for the capital gains, um, so we don't get taxed on that. And sold it, and we, we made almost two hundred thousand dollars more in a two-year span. I mean, depreciation is crazy. <laughs> and then yeah. coming back to my two thousand twelve home, 
to what it is today, it's probably the same thing. Yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? It's yeah, exciting. so you're right. So he was right when he was talking about that. Like, I didn't realize it, but the, the appreciation yeah. was is a huge amount. But the appreciation was what, you know, really caught it. And, you yes. know, um, yeah, forget the cash flow part. I mean, it's 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 good as a bonus. But uh, he's right. The, I mean, geez, I have so much appreciation right now. It's it's crazy. You know, yeah. so much equity in it now. Yes. Um, let's see here. Uh, there was like, how did you find your second property? Is it, I mean, was it, a, was it a, um, it was my uh, next home. It was a, you know, most of my homes are usually ones that I don't buy homes unless I'm willing to live in them. You know, I have to like the house and love them. So my second house, I, it was kind of my dream home. I, it was my own house that I purchased. Um, and then eventually just sold it after a couple of years. So, oh, okay. So it wasn't like a, like a bank, uh, bank own or something like that. It was like, no. You know, something that you was. wanted it. And then, it and then did you, what's that? Yep. It was something that I wanted. Yeah. Did you, did you convert your first home into like a rental afterwards or? Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, let's see here. Let's see, do you guys buy from wholesale and off-market deals or do you, I, I, I don't think this relates to you, right? You don't do any um, wholesalers or off-markets. You're, you just search for it it on the mls right yeah yeah but awesome. i i've been hearing a lot about wholesalers so i've been kind of reading up on it too <laughs> yeah there's a there's a huge amount of um wholesalers in our real estate group um yeah. if, so if you guys are interested i i don't touch that stuff i'm more of a buy and hold uh type of strategy uh but if you guys are interested in a wholesaler or like any off-market deals um the Armon Real Estate Investors Group. Uh, if you search for that, it's you know there's people in there that you know offer these kind of stuff. So, um, let's see here, jeez, you guys are writing paragraphs. <laughs> okay, when it comes to real estate investing, for someone who has little or no, what options to fund the investment? I've done some research and came across some options such as hard money loans have you come okay yeah so she's talking about like the advanced strategy stuff you're you don't do any of that stuff you're just strictly just like loans and stuff like that yeah for now yeah <laughs> until i get to that level so yeah yeah i do that too i mean i i don't i don't mean touch that creative financing type of stuff uh mm -hmm. con goes if you're only profiting 400 units per unit what does that mean that we will need 20 years <laughs> Yeah, Kong, right? Did you did you start looking at that on uh, Dundee? Like, like if you start like you know looking at your cash flow and you're like, oh man, how much would that take for yeah. you to cover? Yes, but I don't I don't just look at that. I I think it, for the same thing, probably in the same terms that you know um, JB was saying. You know, it's like I'm looking at the appreciation, you know, and the debt payoff in it. So yeah, you know. For you know the cash flow per month for units, I mean, my plan is to buy one house a year, um, maybe two a year. So I'm not trying to make it really, really big, but it's very doable. Um, but I think by the time I can, when by the time I retire, what I'm thinking is I'm selling these homes. You know, I don't have time to manage them, or I'm going to pass them on or something. But there will be hoping, you know, enough appreciation for all of them. Yeah, um, that's kind of what I was, uh, what, I think what Kong was talking about, I, I had that same logic too, um, Kong, where I was making 400 bucks uh, per house and I was like, man, so if I was making, if I was making 3000 a month, so that means I have to do this much to to get that much income coming in. So I had to do it and it was like, man, that means I have to buy like 20 properties, yeah. you know, and that's just, you know, that just becomes like crazy. So there's... You know, there's strategies on that, you know, um, you don't have to go 20. You can just you know, invest in something bigger, you know, mm -hmm. or or like going to Airbnb, right, and get more money coming in faster that way, you know, so you don't have to manage toward uh, 20 or so. So, um, yeah, hopefully that answers your question, uh, Kong. Um, uh, Steve goes, hey, what, Steve goes, what are your goals for this 
five year what are your goals for this year five years and retirement and your strategy do you do you have like what's your current goal i guess just to maintain yeah. Yeah, well, I, you know, um, so it is to buy at least a investment home a year, but I also want to do Airbnb. So at least one a year, if not two. So the second one being an Airbnb property. Okay. And that's, if we can do at least two a year, we'll see. That's kind of the plan. S starting small right now, seeing where it goes. I'm still, you know, very careful and still very new. So, chin chin chai, so we'll see. <laughs> Yeah. What about five years? Like, I think that is my five year plan right now. I don't know. Um, <laughs> right now, it's because it's me my, by myself, you know, I that's all mm -hmm. I can focus on right now. It's just little. Well, I bet you, after you come out of this conference, I bet you, after Ku teaches us how to build, you know, properties in like these commercial buildings, I bet you this you know, know these small games that we're doing <laughs> is going to be like like peanuts compared to like that's what i'm thinking like like what he's teaching us that's why i asked i asked me yesterday like what is it do you need a license or do you need like you know like some sort of schooling and stuff like that he's like no you know you can just start i'm like so the way he was talking yesterday i'm like oh my god i think if he whatever he's going to teach us i think i can do that like asap so you know, I think your goals might change after this conference, you know. I know. I, 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 it might. I'm just trying to hold myself back because I'm still, I'm trying to hold myself back and not go too crazy. You know, I, I already have two properties in line and I'm still looking at houses every day. Yeah. So I'm trying to handle well, what am I can't, what am I can first? <laughs> well, it, you didn't get the prep talk, the pep talk that he gave me, you know, when, uh, before we came on the show. So. He gave me a pep talk, like, if you want to level up, man, I'll show you how to level up, you know. And uh, we were kind of, that's why we came late on the on the, on the the show yesterday. He gave me a, one really good pep talk about, you know, how to level up and, like, just change everything and, you know, make tons of money. So so that's why I'm looking at this, and like, my, my, my goals are changed ever since, like, we talked yesterday. So hopefully when you come to the conference, you can be like, holy cow, I can be I'm like... Sure. You know, multi-millionaire in like five years. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So let's see here. Um, uh, let's see how much. Okay, so <laughs> what? My my goes my goes well, off market deals that source yourself are the best. Yeah, my my send us some deals, my. <laughs> um. Let's see what are your end goals i guess end goals i mean where you kind of talked about it, right um a few minutes ago yeah that's something okay this is just a comment uh what do you oh where do you play i think you already talked about up north in um yeah i want to go up north yeah and that's great because like a few years back minnesota was like uh up north somewhere it was like like one of the top um airbnb destinations so yeah, you already. Know. Yeah, it was uh, it was it was the rate. I think it was two years ago, where it was ranked one okay. of the top um, Airbnb destinations up there. So you already okay. you already Believe targeting it. like a perfect market up there. Um, okay. There was a uh, question: Are you still buying in this market with high prices, or or are you waiting? Um, I am still looking. Um, so I think if I come across a good deal, um, I probably would. Um, so I, I probably, I am. Yeah. Did you catch what Ku said? Ku says, uh, that we might have a small crash or crash on that. Yeah. I was like, okay, all right. I, I'll, I'll, I'm not sure how that's coming, but like, all right, I'll listen to him because he's a pro. Yeah. So I'm like, and I guess that's me. Oh, go ahead. Okay. So, so, so those of you guys who are, who are waiting, you know, we have a, you know, Ku yesterday was saying, Hey, we might see a crash in the single family market so if you guys are kind of waiting want to wait you can kind of wait <laughs> i wouldn't wait but but for you guys uh yeah if you guys want to wait for like some sort of correction uh he's he thinks it might be coming for single families and stuff yeah and i'm kind of tired of waiting i think that's why it took me so long to get my third one because 
it keeps going up. The houses and rates keep going up. So it's kind of, I can't keep waiting for something and just keep it, keep saying go up. So for me, it's just now or never. And also because, you know, I think it is for the long term, right? If I was just trying to stay in it for a couple of years and if it crashes, you know, I don't have to sell it right away. You know, I could just keep it and just stay with the rental and get my cash flow still. So, and yeah. for rates, I'm hoping if, if it ever dips for rates, I can always just refinance to go down. So yeah, I'm not too scared anymore. <laughs> Yeah, she knows what you're doing. Right? She just, yeah, the way you're talking, yeah, you know what you're doing at this point. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Uh, there was another one. How did you find your second home? Did you did you refi and cash out on your first home on to down on your second home? Do you do, you do any of that type of strategy? No. Um, so actually, my second home, I did a HELOC on my first home. So um, I took a home equity line on that and then used that for my down payment. And then for my third home, I did a cash refi um, to down on that and have enough for my next property as well. Okay, cool. So. Yeah. Yeah. Similar to what I did, I, uh, I did a cash out refi. So that's kind of what that Dennis is saying um, with mine. So yeah, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's, it, they're both almost like the same strategy. So, uh, yeah, we're getting close to the end of all the questions there. You guys are great. These are great questions, you know. Um, yeah. Let's just go toward, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just, let's just stop here. Yeah. So, um, just curious, like, you know, let's just go with, you know, how can people get a hold of you first? Um, if they like to connect with you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess you can message me, um, you know, if you guys wanted to connect or something, you guys can find my Facebook or just email me at dundiglow at gmail. Okay, cool. So, you know, we usually uh, end the show with um, with, with two more questions that to ask. And, uh, and th thanks, guys, for, uh, you know, these questions. These are great questions. I, I wanted to yeah. just, like I said, I want to just bring, like, somebody who's, who's starting out um, back on the show because, like, we took it so high right? the, the big you know the big dog <laughs> in real estate yesterday and i wanted to just bring it back just so you know people could be like oh this is I mean, that was not reality you know for us right now we need to bring it back down so for us at first starting out you know uh so dundee is willing to come and just you know do that for us so appreciate it, guys give a few likes or thumbs up just so that you know I mean, I know she was super nervous. She said she had like nightmares <laughs> last night <laughs> coming on the show. <laughs> so guys, give her a few thumbs up, you know, because she had nightmares, you know, just trying to come on. So, um, so hey, hey, what do you think? Okay. So one question was, you know, what do you think sets apart from successful uh, people to unsuccessful people? Um on I asked, I, I didn't, this is like an extra question, but what do you think about that? I asked who um, that yesterday. Your mindset. Yeah. Yeah. And he hit it right on to, you know, you have to be resilient. You get back up, you know, take a day break, get back up and keep going. But I think it's all mindset, you know? Yeah. Just, you have to have a positive mindset and just got to figure out what you need to do and just do it. Yeah, absolutely. Don't be scared. <laughs> yeah. Just, just let that all go. I mean, like I remember, like uh, like during the pandemic, and uh, I was willing to give up. You know, I was like, oh, forget all this." But you know, it's like one part of it is like, you know, yeah, I just sell it all. You know, the other part was like, "Oh man, if you sell it all, you know, you're not getting the cash flow down the road once you make it and stuff like that." And you know, like I'm glad that one because now like all my assets are like quadruple. You know. Uh, with that so yeah you're right Man, mindset is you know the key thing is to keep going yeah um my goes hey she goes my goes she's cheering on for you so uh that's very cool um <laughs> it kind of goes yeah right mindset is really important so last question uh tell us something you learned about money something that i learned about money um learn how to make money work for you you know instead of working oh. for money you have to make your money work for you. So, yeah, that's my cool. biggest thing. Very cool. So that's it, guys. So, you know, it's very easy. I mean, real estate, it, did it seem hard? You know, 
No. At all? I mean, is it is it because you're hanging around the right people? Is that is it? I mean, I know some people are like, oh, real estate is so hard. Do you think real estate is hard? I don't think so. You know, I think it, you just start out small. You know, I think everybody needs a house. You buy a house and, you know, if you move to another house, don't sell it. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> think about the long term. I mean, if you need the money right away, go ahead and sell it. But you think about the long term, just rent it out and you just start building it that way. I think that's the most simplest way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, guys, real estate is really that easy. It's really easy. You can't fail in real estate kind of because there's so many people to back you up. I mean, you have to loan people to say, okay, that looks a good deal to, you know, that's the first people, that's the first line that's going to say, Hey, that's a good deal. You'll, you're going to be able to survive with, you know, whatever the income's coming. So the loan people is going to be there to protect you. The title computer computer uh, people are going to be there to like, you know, make sure everything looks good for you. And you got the agents there to help you out. So it's like a huge team, you know, that's pretty much helping you become successful when you buy something. So, you know, real estate is that hard, guys. So you can perfect example. Dundee here, you know, she's she's done it. So, uh, Dundee, thanks for coming on. Thanks for showing that you're a true hustler. And uh, <laughs> I guess I'll see you at the conference. You know, right? So well, thanks for having me. Yeah. So uh, guys, uh, if you guys are interested in the conference? Uh, uh, I'll put the link down. Uh, hope to see you guys there. And until then, uh, any last word? No, thank you. Thank you, everybody else. Just keep hustling. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's our favorite word. Good night, guys, and keep hustling, guys. All right, good night.